Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking in a certain experiment, cylindrical samples of diameter 4 cm and length 7 cm are used. The two thermocouples in each sample are placed 3 cm apart after initial transients. The electric heater is observed to draw 0.6 ampere at 110 volts and both differential thermometers read a temperature difference of 8 degrees Celsius. Determine the thermal conductivity of the sample. So here the question is asking for the thermal conductivity that is K. This is related to Q conduction. So this is going to be, this is related to heat transfer due to conduction. And we know that the equation for heat transfer related to conduction is going to be Ka delta T over L. So this is going to be the equation and let's rearrange this one and see what we have to have. So K is going to be equal to Q conduction Q dot times L over A delta T. Right? And let's uh, we'll put all the given informations. We don't have the heat transfer provided and uh, L is going to be this 3 centimeter apart so that's going to be the L value so we can place L is equal to 3 times 10 to the power minus 2 meter and then area area also not provided area is going to be cross sectional area and delta T is given by temperature difference that is 8 degrees Celsius so we have delta T that is 8 degrees Celsius right now let's find out area and Q dot Q dot Q dot is heat transfer rate. Heat transfer rate, we know that you it's the unit of that one is going to be joules per second, right? That's same as power. And we know that when we it's if it's related to current and voltage, the power equation is going to be P is equal to IV. So we can calculate heat transfer rate using this equation. Q dot is going to be same as that. So let's calculate Q dot. Q dot is going to be equal to IV. So I is given by 0 0.6 ampere times 110 volts, right? So if you calculate this one, that's going to give you 66 watts. But we are trying to calculate this one for each, each, uh, each samples. So this means this is going to be half of this. So Q dot in each of them is going to be 33 volts. 33 watts. So that's what we want. Q dot is going to be 30. Thirty-three watts. Alright. Now we have the Q dot. And we also need the area. To find the area, this is a cross-sectional area, so we are going to use the circle equation. Cross-sectional area of a cylinder is going to be circle and here the diameter is provided right here, right? So we can find this area. Area is going to be 5d square divided by 4. That is equal to 5 times. d square is going to be 4 times 10 to the power of minus 2 square divided by 4. And if you calculate this one, that's going to give you 1.256 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter square. And this is going to be the area. So let's note that one down too. So this is going to be area is equal to 1.256 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter square. Now let's go ahead and calculate k value. k is going to be equal to q dot that is 33 times the length that is 3 times 10 to the power of minus 2 and then we have the area that is 1.256 times 10 to the power of minus 3 times the Temperature difference that's 8. And if you calculate this one, that should give you 98.52 watts per meter Kelvin. And that's going to be the final answer. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.